afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Louis Atkins. I'm the pastor from the, Ch uh, the John Saul Berean Church of God International. I'd like to welcome you to our live stream service for those and all the uh, social media platforms. Because of protocols, we are not able to have church as usual. So I pray that you will enjoy in YouTube and other social media platforms. Be blessed and be free to log in whenever you can. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Shall we praise God? Let us worship the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Just stand with me at this time as we go into our praise and worship this morning. Bless the name of the Lord. Isaiah 61 says, Arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. Bless the name of the Lord. This morning we are here in the presence of the Lord to give God praise. Amen? Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. We're going to sing praises unto God this morning. We're going to lift up our praises. Let our praises rise from the insides, inside of us. Not only from our mouth, but from the bottom. Bless the name of the Lord of our belly this morning. Praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Let praise is right from the inside, from the inside of me. May you delight from the inside. Thank you. 
would not be where I am today without her. Amen? And without no further delay, she is not a stranger to John Zoll. Make it welcome, Sister Catherine.
the songwriter said, never gonna tell nobody, but I just couldn't keep it to myself what the Lord has done for me. Sister Jenny, sister, never wanna thank you for the testimony. I was just gonna hit on that in my message. But I'm not gonna hit on that anymore because the Holy Spirit is right. Yeah. You want us to tell it. Yeah. Because you're helping me today, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna show you help one for people here. Yeah. And if you don't tell it, nobody will know. Yeah. And again, you want to keep those stories hidden. But today, the devil get a poof. I'm not like him, I don't have that kind of energy. Welcome to our first Lady Sunday Woo! service under the auspices of Pastor Louis and myself. And it can only get better in Jesus' name. You're looking fabulous. into our worship. Sow in tears, reap in joy. Come on. If you sow in tears, you reap in joy. Come on, my man, say it with me. If you sow in tears, you reap in joy. Psalm 26 is a song reflecting on the return of the captives to Jerusalem. in Babylon. Yeah. They have suffered so much, but now they found themselves back in their own homeland, that is Jerusalem, yeah. back to their beloved city of God. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that, God had delivered them. This is a very good psalm to reflect on, especially now. Amen. Yes, man. Very good psalm to reflect on during this time of crisis. Yeah. Are we in crisis? Yes, we are. This is a reminder how God can turn mourning into dancing, tears into joy, exchange beauty for ashes and strength for fear, gladness for mourning, peace for despair. That's the kind of God that we serve. Gladness for mourning, peace for despair. We all go through hard times. Yes. We all go through hard times. And if you have never gone through a hard When we when we think of the storms, it always feel like it will never end. Amen. When you wake up each morning to tears and then go back to bed in tears, it is difficult to see your way forward. You begin to lose hope. Come on, I'm an here. You begin to lose hope. You begin to wonder if there is a God at all.
Oh! 
In a moment, in an instant, God can take away your tears and fill you up with laughter and songs of joy.
because of financial issues, student loan problem, everywhere we turn problem. But I'm just here to tell you that at every God time, there is a light. There is a light. And sometimes as young people, they never show us many other way, ways out. And at end, I am at school, I am on hall, and look who I'm on. Because financial issue cannot be paid, and that college is very expensive. And we said, God, me a serve you. And only my people there, we are cutting with dumps and learn. And me a learn. And I am the only person in my immediate household who is going to break that curse apart from my sister of poverty. And you're going to be stuck in it, God. And I went and fasted. And my brother, my church brother, Brother Oshin, he said, Never want to fast and tell it to God. I'm going to be working so And he said, God, we need to be pulled through something, cook up something with Jesus. And I went on fasting, and even though I couldn't do the fasting like for hours, but I made it short time and I just put everything before God. And I signed up for this scholarship the night before it was due, before the deadline came. And after I sent in the scholarship, I said, God, if me don't get it, God, and you want God, me have to get it. Me have to get it, Jesus. And I was around my grandma's house. Just washing the place and I got a call, but I missed the call and then I called the number. And this lady said, um, congratulations, you just won the large stewards bursting. Out of everybody who applied, got paid a man for some fees for me to get this. And when men and others said, look here, you can see a top and she said, it's trouble too much. A lot of my friends after second year, they deferred and took an associate instead of the full degree because they cannot afford it. I said, God, me happy get it because I'm in comfort. So just trust in God. Leave that at your home and understand it. But if you are the one who acknowledge me, and he shall direct your path. Hallelujah! Bless the name of Jesus. And I won't be long. And again, I was there. And I said that this is a mommy and can't cover everything. And I signed up for another one. And I signed up and I prayed that every day before me, even think of doing anything, he said, God, never 